top secret. Hello guys, thanks for joining me today. So recently, I think within the last six um, weeks, I bought a new bag. Um, I took a picture, popped it on Instagram, and one of my very, very lovely followers and viewers has requested that I film um, more about my bag, really. So I thought that was a fantastic video idea, and I really wanted to do it. So um, I've kind of turned it into a what's in my bag video, so it's just a little bit more interesting for you guys um, to see what I carry, really. So the bag that I've got today is this one here, and what I'll do is talk about what's inside the bag first and at the end of the video I'll talk about what kind of bag it is and um, I must say that during the week I like to carry a big tote around with me I like to carry around uh, my Neverfull basically so that way I can fit in things for work like my lunch um, sometimes my laptop magazines files and just general like stuff that I need but during the weekends I like to be a lot more compact when I'm carrying like my handbag around because I'm quite I'm a lot more mobile basically during the weekend I'm going out in my car shopping seeing friends going for coffee having lunch um, going to the supermarket so I literally just like something that I can throw on like a crossbody bag and um, just go and I can just delve into the bags I don't want to carry anything too heavy especially if I'm shopping as well then you're just really laden with bags anyway so let me show you inside my bag now inside this bag there's one big compartment here there's a smaller slot um, compartment um, for cards really but basically it's just one big main compartment just there okay, so the first thing in my bag is my iPhone 6s and I love this it's the 128 gig it's the white one with the silver on the back I've got over a thousand plus photos I wanted the bigger kind of memory because I do like to snap a lot um, my most used apps are Instagram Snapchat. I absolutely love Patrick Starr on Snapchat. He's so, so funny. He's like this American um, YouTuber and he just does the most amazing looks. But also his personality is really warm and he's just really funny and his snaps are hilarious. So if you're looking for someone to follow that's new, check out Patrick Starr. I really enjoy his snaps. The next thing I have in my bag are my keys. Um, I have a lot of keys. Basically, we have a lot of doors in our house. So there's loads of keys here, most all of them except for this one which is my car key are all for the house and um, I've got this little blood kind of fob here and it's where I give blood, they give you this little kind of key ring just so that if anything happens to you the paramedics or the doctors can quickly identify what blood group you are should you need to have a transfusion. So I am O rhesus positive. And then I've also got in here my earphones, so I'm always listening to music on my phone if I'm going into work or walking into work or really just generally going anywhere if I'm shopping. I like to plug in, zone out and just get into my little groove of listening to all my R&B songs, um, my old school like history kind of music. I absolutely love this. Music is music for my soul. I absolutely love music. Um, I've got my power bank and this one is a, oh there isn't a, oh it's an anchor power bank. I love this. Whoops, I'm chucking all this stuff on the bed as I go. I've got my nail file in here, because you know, I'm always, well not always, but just when you chip your nail or you need to file it, you just don't have, or none of your friends have nail files, so I always carry a nail file. This one I just got from Primark, and it's quite coarse on one side and soft on the other, so you can use the coarse side for the end of your nail and the more softer side just to buff the nail over the top. So I always carry my nail file with me, and it's nice that it's in this kind of holder because you know all the like um <coughs> debris from your nail can get all over everything so yeah I like this from Primark I think it was like 99p it was dead cheap and for those occasions where I go out to dinner or eat anything and you know you get herbs and just meat and things stuff in, stuck in your teeth I always carry some dental floss with me and this one again is from Primark it's 10 meters long so this is going to last me for ages and um, it came in handy the other day my friend had some um, herbs stuck in her teeth and I was like I whipped this out of my bag I was like look what I've got I've got floss so yeah I'm always like really really well prepared for stuff so um, what else have I got here? I've got a tub of Vaseline. So I've had a really bad cold recently and I've been blowing and blowing and where I've been blowing my nose is really like sore and dry and a little bit flaky so I use that to rub over my nose and also over my lips and any kind of dry patches. That's just such like a basic essential. And what else? This is not in, not in any particular order. Um, the next thing I've got is this little hair tie thing. It's like a plastic... Oh, I've got to unwind it. Hold on a minute. It's all tangled up. So you know when you tie your hair up with a normal band? 
you can kind of get a kink in it sometimes. So this is like a kinkless hairband and my friend Lynn gave it to me and I was just like, it's really, really like different and I need to like have it. So she kind of gave it to me and I really do like it. It doesn't give you a kink. Sorry, I need to cough. So that's what I like about it. I would say you can't really get a tight hold in your hair just because it's made of plastic. But if you want to get your hair out of your face and up, um, these are really, really cool. Okay, what else is in here? We've got a letter. What's this letter? Oh, it's my new pin number. Oh, gosh. You will not believe this. I was looking through my um, bank statement the other day, and I like to check it weekly just to make sure that all the transactions are, like, legit and just to, like, kind of, like, have a follow and see what I've been spending my money on. And I noticed that there was a withdrawal for about, like, £100. And I was like, I don't recognise that. And then when I clicked on the more info button, which you can do on online banking, basically the money had been withdrawn from Los Angeles, LA in America. And I was like, hmm, that wasn't me. So um, yeah, I had a little bit of fraud on my card. I had to get sent a new card, which I received um, a couple of days ago. And now I've got to activate my pin. So this is my pin number. Top secret. Okay, what else have I got in here? Oh my gosh, my mum gave me this the other day. It's a little badge of when I was really, really small. Um, so that's me when I was, I think my mum said I was seven here, so that's seven, and that's me now, 33, so yeah, I really like that, I thought I'd keep this somewhere safe, so that can come out of my bag now, and then I've got some contact lenses, I always carry a spare set of contact lenses around, um, because you never know when your lens might pop out, sometimes I get like dry eyes or even if I've got something in my own I start poking and the lens will come out and it's like disaster so I carry my spare contact lenses and actually usually I carry my glasses in here but I haven't got them today and then I have got some chewing gum for those days when you need um, to refresh your breath usually after work I like to stick a gum in before I come home so I haven't got smelly breath for now and then we're on to some makeup -y bits so like I said, I've not been very well, and also I've been using a new cleanser which has broken me out a bit. So I've been using a couple of concealers, and um, I've been using an Illamasqua one, and I've also, I like to take this one on the go, it's the Kick-Ass Soap and Glory Concealer. And the reason that I really, really do like this is because it's small and compact, and it's got two shades of concealer in here. It's got the lighter shade and the darker shade. The darker shade suits me at the moment. And there's a little mirror, which is fantastic. But the thing that really, really kind of sells it for me is the fact that there is a little powder in here and you can just apply your concealer and you can set it. The most important thing when you've got spots is to use a concealer and then a powder that you can just set down so you just know it doesn't move. So I absolutely love that. So yeah, I've been loving that. And then in terms of blush for like topping up throughout the day, and a bit of bronzer. I've got my Chanel little kit here and I absolutely love this. I bought this earlier on in the year. I think it was a limited edition but basically I love how there's lots of different shades that you can play with and um, it's just great for just touching up and sort of perfecting your makeup on the night out if you're going out. In terms of perfumes, because I do like to go out a lot in the evening, I like to carry these little um, miniature perfumes. So I don't have to lug like a massive bottle around. These are just perfect. You can get these from any kind of sample counters. I've got, this one is Guerlain, Le Petit Robe Noir. My French is so good today. And I've got this little Prada one. So I just like spritz and I can go and they're just handy to have in your bag. So that you can smell gorgeous. And then I've also got another blusher in here. It's Rimmel's Santa Rose. This blusher goes with any lip, whether it be a dark red, a bright red, <clears throat> an orange or anything. It's such a versatile um, blusher and I absolutely love it. I always carry it around and just use it for every day. And then, oh, I've got another Chanel mirror in here. This is the best compact mirror you could ever have for your bag because it goes all the way up. You know, sometimes you get mirrors and they only just like go here and sometimes you're just like, you're like this, you're like this. This is just flush, it goes absolutely flat. So you can really have a good old nosy at your face. Oh gosh, I've got something in my hair. That's annoying. And um, you've got the standard size and then you've got the magnifying um, size just here. And it's just fantastic because it opens all the way out. You're not just struggling. You're just, you can see your face really easily. Oh, to go with that um, Chanel compact blush, I've got the little pochette and the brush. So that's really handy. You don't have to carry like a big brush. It's really small and the brush is so, so soft. So I love Chanel stuff. I think it's so nice. And I've got a couple of pencils in here. So before I get to the pencils, I've got this mini toe cutter. 
So you know for those days when you get those annoying bits of like skin just here in the middle of, at, at the side of your nails? You can just whip those out with these and they're so small. Um, I've got a little silver pen here and it's got my initials on S. Can you see S? So yeah, that's a nice little pen. Just carry that around with me. I've got a MAC lip liner here and this is stripped down. Love this when I'm doing nude lips because they really kind of make my lips look fuller. Absolutely love this. MAC stripped down, lasts ages, is really nice, goes on really smoothly. I've also got a Maybelline Colour Drama crayon here. This is well loved. This is probably one of my favourite nudes and um, it's called New Perfection 630. Check this out guys, they're very very similar in consistency to the NARS lip um, pencils and this colour is just divine and it stays on really really well. It's great for if you're doing a really dark smoky eye and you do need a lip colour and that's very very just nude. It's not pinky, it's not peachy, it's just very kind of straight up nude. And um, what else have I got in here? I've got the Scandalize Eyeliner by Rimmel. I don't think they do this one anymore. It's a really gorgeous bronzy colour. Um, and it stays on so well. I can put this on and I know this is one of the products that will just won't smudge or budge. It's fantastic, but I don't think they do them anymore. And when I found out that they were discontinuing them, I think I bought like 10 off eBay. So um, I have this in the shade bronze and it's number 12 and it's just fantastic. It's a gorgeous kind of bronzy colour and I feel like that really suits my um, brown eyes. And then this lip liner I bought very recently and it's also from Rimmel. I really like their lip liners actually, they do um, some really nice colours and this one is um, 11 Spice and I've got that on my lips today. So this is just a gorgeous, I don't know, it's kind of like a terracotta colour but I think it really suits me. And then, oh, I've got my little C3PO here. He is a little um, US, what is it, is it a memory stick? Yeah, like a, you know, you can put files on it. So yeah, my little memory stick, my portable memory stick. I've got 16 gigabytes on him. So yeah, that's great for when I want to transfer photographs or files and stuff from like various computers at work and at home and stuff. So yeah, super, super cute. If you're into Star Wars like we are, we are really into our sci-fi and Star Wars and Star Trek and stuff. Um, you can get C3PO, they do Yoda ones, so Mel has a Yoda one. I've got my Oyster card there and I get a monthly one and it's £227 for zone 1 to 6 so it's like oh every month I'm like oh that's so like expensive. So I've started doing weekend vlogs if you're interested in seeing those I'll link down my last one below my very first one below and we were in Carnaby Street and we passed this place called The Trains and um, we really wanted to go in there but we didn't have time so I've basically got the business card for it and it's in Kingly Court and it's called The Trains and basically I think it's a cocktail bar and it's kind of down below but I've heard really good things from it. My friend Dawn has been there and um, so this is where we can like, I think we can reserve a place and stuff and it's got the opening time so I've got the business card from there. And then the final thing that I've got in my bag is my little um, wallet. I look super, super grumpy in my photo. It's always in passport photos and like professional photos that you need to like do adulting stuff that I take the most grumpiest photos. And I've got the new £5 note. <gasps> it's so cool because they've got this clear plastic bit and you can just like look, see through it. And um, I read a funny article online the other day. This woman had bought some new ones, new £5 notes, and it had crumpled in her pocket. So she ironed it and guess what happened? It melted. So yeah, I thought that was quite funny. I've got my like staff ID card. I've got my Nectar card, so I collect points when I shop at Sainzo's. And I've got Barclays, HSBC, Santander. I literally bank with all the major banks. Okay, so let me talk to you about my bag. Now this is my bag here. And it's a YSL inspired dupe um, bag. And I absolutely love this. I saw this in a market stall in London and I was like, <gasps> I must buy this. I abso, 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 absolutely love it. Um, the black kind of edgy croc oh, front is so nice and um, I like the logoing. The tassel is just, it's just a little added extra that looks really, really good. And the metal strap here I'm just going crazy for. So this is actually not a real YSL bag. 
Like I said, I saw it in a market stall and I just, it was love at first sight. And basically my philosophy with bags is that, you know, it's great if you can afford it and you love it. But for me personally, I haven't had the best experience. So I spent a lot of money um, in Liberties, I think it was about, about over a year ago, um, on an Alexander Wang Rocco bag. I saved up for ages for it. I absolutely fell in love with it and I've just been wanting it for so long. And when I finally got it, I've got to say I was quite disappointed. The bag itself is totally me, it's very edgy, it's got the rock studs underneath, it's just gorgeous, it was, it's got ro ro rose gold rock studs and it's somewhere in my wardrobe here but I just literally haven't used it as often as I would have liked, basically because where I've spent so much money for it. When I take it out um, and I go up to London on the trains and even go in my car, I was constantly worried about it getting bashed and scratched and just generally spoiling it and marking it. And it kind of took the pleasure out of having the designer bag because where I paid so much money for it, I was so worried about damaging it. Um, so for me, it just wasn't worth it in terms of cost per wear because I probably have only taken it out a handful of times. I can count the number of times I've taken it out of my hands. And um, yeah, I was just constantly worried and freaking out that it would get damaged and it just, it was just, it ended up turning into a bit of a headache. So for me, I'm very much um, a sort of person as well that is very fickle with their bags. I'm on constant rotation with the bags that I do have. And um, like I say in the week, I take a tote bag and I have a shoulder bag. So yeah, I'm, I, that's just my philosophy. Um, I guess I'm just explaining to you like why I didn't buy a real one, but also, Designer bags are ludicrously expensive and you know, I have to pay my mortgage every month, my council tax, my water, my electricity, my food and um, also I think that I like to spend my money on experiences rather than things. So the majority of my money I like to spend on going out, um, I'm going to Prague um, in December for a Christmas um, fair with my best friend, I'm going to a spa day, I'm going out with Mel a lot, we're going to um, like eat out a lot in London, I go out with my mum and dad. And just generally, I'd rather spend my money on spending time and making experiences and memories with my friends rather than making expensive purchases. So, I mean, that's how I personally like to spend my money. And, you know, there's no judgment whatsoever on how other people spend their money because we're all different and we've all worked really, really hard. But that's how I like to spend my money. That's my, my kind of philosophy. I think the only um, thing that I've noticed in how it's different from the real one is that it's taller than the real bag and it's not probably as wide. And... Um, Apart from that, I think it's a really, really good dupe, and I oh, just, I just love this so much. So let me just show you inside. Inside here, you've got all the oh, you've got the grommets here that have um, Yves Saint Laurent in it, and you can wear it like that, just long, or you can take the flap over, and um, the chain goes on the inside, so you can take it like that and wear it as um, just a regular shoulder bag. But I think if you do that you are prone to um, misshaping the bag just here where the silver um, chain will kind of bend over and put stress on the side of the bag here. So yeah, the grommets are Yves Saint Laurent, so you can wear it like that. Um, I always just wear it long as a cross um, body shoulder bag. And then you've got a really nice detail on the strap. It actually says Saint Laurent there. So that's just... It's just a really well made bag and on the inside, oh there's a bit of chewing gum there, and on the inside it's like black suede leather, it's black suede and it's so nice. So yeah, that's my bag, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and um, that's it for now. Check out my second weekly vlog which went up on Wednesday and I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much, love you lots, bye bye. Honey.